Yes, you're the one. You're the one that uh, got it all done. You're the one got him through the amateurs. You know, he's here with his hard work and dedication and your perseverance. So, talk to us about Saturday night. Talk to about having two up and coming junior welterweights. You know, me, me and my brother looking to put on a show. It hurt. It's gonna. It's gonna be some some hurting going on. Just look for that, cause. I'm ready. Even if we go the distance, even if we go the distance, I'm still looking for the show. So we gonna find the show, right? Three more days. Three more days. Now, uh, so talk to us. He's saying, he's saying three more days. I'm saying one more day because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> one more day to the way, and that's right. So, do you handle his nutrition as well? You make sure what he eats. You monitor that, or you have a nutritionist? No, nah, they, they, they do that. They do their own. And you and you I mean, can what, trust what, them. Yeah, I mean they always make waves. They always, you know, in shape. So yeah, yeah. Since, since small days they used to. It. What sort of work ethic would you say he has? Uh, both. Both of them actually. All, all the ones that I train, they're all very hard training kids. I mean, that's why uh, even in the amateur days, all of them were elite amateurs because we train hard. You, know? you train the cruiserweight too, right? Herc, right? Uh, the Earl one that's, the one that Earl Newman Jr. Earl Newman Jr. Right. What's up with him, man? We haven't seen him in a uh, while. Unfortunately, I don't know why we're not fighting, but uh, it's been almost eight months. Uh, he was supposed to be on this card, but uh, so far they can't find an opponent yet, so if they don't find an opponent, he's out. But he's supposed to be on the card. Well, what sort of talent do you think he is? I mean, he's been kind of stuck in that 10-0 area for a while now. Yeah, once, uh, for the 175, 78, he'll be a dangerous boy, 6'3". 